Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to design a multi-file uploading system that fits your app specifically. So the plugin that we're going to be using is this here, multi-file uploader drop zone. Uh, what that gives you is this element under your input forms here, multi-file uploader. So I'm just going to add this to the page. And by default, it's not a very pretty element to look at. So I'm going to show you how to design um, a repeating group to go along with this um, uploader so that it fits more within your app. This is, we're talking about UX here, UI. So see, this is the default. It's this ugly green that you can't even change. Um, and if you're working with images, for example, or PDFs, you don't even see like a little preview or thumbnail of the file itself. So you're just stuck with the file name here. So what I tend to do with this kind of thing is add a repeating group do a repeating group nice and big there. Um, I'm just going to do full list and the type of content will be file and then the source of this repeating group will be the value of this uploader element. Okay so data source equals multi-file uploader A's value. All right so now each cell in this repeating group will be each file that you've uploaded to this element here. I'm going to do a little bit of design here just so that you can get the idea of how you can have a repeating group really um, customize this whole experience for your users. So I'm going to add a group element inside the cell. Uh, I want to maintain my data source so this group will also be type file and the data source will be the current cells file. I'm going to get rid of the separator. I'm going to have uh, an image element here inside of my group. Let's say I'm working with uploading images. Then my dynamic image will be the parent group's files URL. Okay, and how about we also have the file name in a text element right next to it. File name, like that. Okay, and I'm going to center this a little bit more and we'll bold it as well. All right, so now I'm going to preview the same upload so that we can see how the repeating group mirrors uh, this element, but we've applied our own custom design here. So I'm going to select these three images. Here we have our repeating group. So this is a much nicer looking um, response to the uploading system already. Now I'm going to take this a couple steps further to make this user experience a little bit nicer. I'm going to create a workflow when this element is triggered. So as soon as the multi-file uploader's value is changed, I'm actually going to set a state. So I'll set a custom state. Um, I'm just going to do it right on the index page. And I'm going to call my state uh, uploaded files. Okay, this will be a list of files. The value of the state is simply going to equal the exact same value of the uploader. Okay, so this multi-file uploader's value. All right, so now instead of this repeating group uh, having the source set to the, val the uh, uploader itself, I'm going to set the source of the repeating group to the custom state. Why am I doing this? These are still files. They're going to be the exact same. But I'm doing this so that I can have a button in my repeating group so that I can remove a file from the list. The file technically is still existing here in the, in the uploader element, but now this list can be something I can have my user engaging with a bit more. So my button here can say, uh, you know, remove or discard or something uh, to indicate that by clicking the button, it's going to remove it from the list. Okay, we'll make this little red button there. Okay, now again, this list is the custom state list. It's now a separated list. It's pulling from the multi-file uploader, but now I can manipulate the list however I want. So when I click on the discard button, I'm going to update that custom state list. So I'm going to set the state again, index, uploaded files, and I'm just going to take the existing list, uh, index, uploading file. So what it is currently minus the parent group's file. Okay, so again, I'm not updating 
the uploader. I'm not actually removing the file from the uploader. I'm simply removing this one file from the custom state list because that's now, that's a separated list that we've generated out of the uploader. And so now I can manipulate it a bit more. So if I preview it, I can show you how that's going to work. All right, so I'm going to upload my three images again. Okay, so now again, this is pulling from our custom state list. And if I discard the second one here, I now only have these two. But you can see that the three files are still um, in the uploader. I'm just kind of showing you some different options that you have to manipulate the list for the user. This is all about the user's experience. Some other things that I would do uh, to take this another step further is I could put this uh, uploader inside of a group and that group here will be a group that I reset so that the files from the uploader go away. Reset here. So as soon as I make a change to the uploader, I will save those files to the custom state, but then I can reset the group so that it goes blank and it removes those files from the list. And I can actually hide this group so that the user is really only seeing the repeating group once the files are in there. So I can hide my group. Um, and then I obviously want to give them a way to bring the uploader back if they do want to add more files. So I'm going to bring a button here, add more files. Clicking on this button will simply show that group again. All right, so show group reset. Um, and then this button really should only be visible when the uploader is not visible. So we'll have a condition on the button that says when group reset isn't visible, then this button is visible. By default, I'm going to hide that button. Okay, so I'm going to preview here so you can just see what I just did. So here we go with our three images again. All right, so see how as soon as I made those upload, or as soon as the upload happened, the uploader itself went away. So I'm not seeing two lists of the same thing. Um, I can discard one if I want, but if I want to click on this button to bring back the uploader, do that, and you notice how the list is gone. Uh, those files went away because again, I triggered this action. As soon as the file uploader is changed, um, we reset that group. That just sets the input back to its default state, which is blank. It's just ready to accept any files. Okay, so hopefully this gives you a lot of different ideas um, to create a super custom uploading system for your app. Uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. I upload videos every single week. Thank you so much for watching.